Chris asks, at the current moment, which players are making the best case to become an all-star for the first time in their career? I'm going to rattle them off, and I want you to pick one. And if I forget anybody, but I know you're doing this off the cuff. You have yep. Fred Van Fleet. You have Jared Allen. Right there. Okay. Stop. <laughs> I w- he would be my pick. That's the obvious answer, right? It's, it's not because John Morant exists. John Morant plays in the Western Conference, which has such a ridiculous backcourt s- selection. Well, the, who does it this year? It's between him and Donovan Mitchell. I don't know if he'll get it for starters, but I mean, John Morant is going to make the All Star team. Correct. One hundred percent certain. But Fred Van Vliet is even more than one hundred percent certain. Okay, so relative to his conference, for sure. But would you say John Morant? Fred Van Vliet's defense is just so damn good. But would you say that John Morant? Fred Van Vliet's better? everything is so damn good. Yes, John <laughs> Morant has been better. Fred Van Vliet, John Morant would be the names that spring to mind. There's also Jared Allen, Darius Garland to consider. I think both of them should make the team, but they are less likely to because name recognition factors into this and coaches are more likely to give the nods to the players who aren't just breaking out for the first time this season. They Van Fleet is a fairly established product. We knew that he was really good last year. He wasn't at this level, but Jared Allen was a question mark. Darius Garland was a question mark. Do they deserve inclusion? Absolutely. But they're not going to be voted in as starters, which means it hinges on the coaches selections and we know how that goes historically. And also, they're not no – aside from John Moran, like these other players are no-brainers. So let's do this. We'll say – I actually think Jared Allen is a no-brainer inclusion just from an analytics and value standpoint. But when we actually factor in what goes into the, the formation of the teams, he's no longer a no-brainer. So let's do this. We'll go through the first all-star candidates. Are they going to be a first all-star or not? Nah? I'm going to run through them with you. Fred Van Fleet. Absolutely. I'm with you on yes. John Moran. Absolutely. Jared Allen. You have to I'm going to say yes. Okay. I think I think yes. I think he will get in. I'm going to say yes with him too. Darius Garland. I'm saying I'm gonna no. say no, unfortunately. Yeah. Unless the, unless he's an injury replacement. You know, I think we have to, to Or they expand the rosters. Uh, spe- <laughs> speaking of DeJounte Murray. No. I Too would... much depth in the Western Conference. He deserves he deserves mention. He 100% deserves to be in this conversation. But because we're still stupidly not expanding the all-star rosters, he will not get in. You want to pick the, uh, should we do the injury replacement team? Uh, John Collins. No, not a chance. Yeah, I do think he's been better than people give him credit for. So not a chance is rude, but it's not. A, there's no, but Trey Young is a lock and there. And Atlanta is not going to get a second all-star wall below 500. I don't, I hate that logic, by the way. I, I do too. I don't think he's a no-brainer. I'm not, I'm not saying who should be. You asked right. me who is going to. This is my final, yes. This is the final one that I have, and maybe you have more, but LaMelo Ball would be the other one. I said DeJounte Murray, right? He's a no for me. You did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think LaMelo Ball fits into the same category as DeJounte Murray, where he deserves to be in the conversation. I don't know that he's going to make it in. I'm sure people are going to be mad that we didn't mention Mikael Bridges, but he's a no insofar as you think that he even like deserves to be. Right, I'm trying to, I'm trying to look through here and... DeAndre Ayton well, would be a no for me too. Jalen Brunson is a no, though he's made a very compelling case over the past like month or so. I think I think Aiden has a chance. Phoenix is good enough that it could very much justify getting three in. Uh, anyone else who stands out? Tyrese Halliburton. It's not happening. Not happening. Deserves deserves mention. Not happening. Um, deserves mention when you start talking about the if they expand. Oh, oh no! Here's. To- Here's one more. Andrew Wiggins. No. Oh my God. Why? Because it keeps getting floated as a possibility. And he (laughs) might get, he might get in on the back of the fan vote. I do. Look, I've been very impressed with his defense overall. And just, I don't think he, I don't think he belongs in that conversation, but I I think that it would be incomplete to not mention him. There is, I, I just, He's been good, but like we need to, I think we might even be guilty of it at this point where we're naming Tyrese Halliburton. We got to stop doing this thing where it's like, this player is good. So does he deserve to be like one of the, right. one of the, the top 12 players in the West, even though yeah. positions matter a little bit. And Desmond Bain. Yes. Desmond Bain can and should get in and will get in. Robert Williams. 